Good morning, everybody. I've been really looking forward to doing this video. Um, it's been inside me for ages and I absolutely have to get it out. So, you know in here when I say the dead wood will get rid of itself when you shift a few things. So, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And every time you make a change in your life, which is for the betterment of you, and every time you pop up in energy, if you remember the video that I did a little while ago on uh, relationship breakdowns, and I was speaking about the differences in the levels of energy that you experience with people and when you're in a good space. So when you're doing personal development and when you are doing work on yourself and you're applying everything that you're learning through these videos or books that I'm recommending or work that you're doing with me personally, one of two things is gonna happen. The first thing that might happen is the people that are around you, when you shift, everybody else around you has to shift as well. That's Newton's third law of motion. It is a scientific fact, that's what's gonna happen. So one of two things is gonna happen. First thing that might happen is everybody that is around you will say, oh my God, she is doing really, really well. I want a piece of that. I wanna find out what she's doing. And they are the kind of people that you wanna have around you in your life. They're the people who lift you up and cushion you when you fall. They are people who feed off your energy in a positive way. They are not an energy vampires. They are energy radiators. And when you're around a radiator and you're being a radiator, you know, brilliant things are gonna happen. So that's the first thing that might happen. And people might ask you, you know, what are you doing? Can I get a piece of that? Whatever. The other thing that's going to happen, which is what I try and prepare people for, hence why my post went up this morning about the Deadwood, is some people will become uncomfortable with the new you. People don't like it. People, sometimes people just don't like to see you doing well and you no longer serve a purpose for them. So say, for example, if you have somebody in your life who's just really, really moany and everything is a complaint and they're complaining about the same things over and over and over again and you are facilitating this. When you shift and when you are doing personal development and you're, you're deciding, oh, that kind of behavior doesn't really suit me anymore and you protect your boundaries around that, the next time that they come at you and you say, well, listen, how do you think that's working for you? Or, you know, what are you going to actually do about that? Are you going to take action? Are you going to take step to steps towards fixing that situation? What happens here is that person realizes she is no longer feeding me in the way in which she has always fed me. She is not plumossing me. She is not fluffing me up. She is not patting me on the back and saying, oh, it's going to be okay. Come on, we stick the kettle on. We have another cup of coffee and we moan and whinge and give in to the negativity of the situation. When you shift and you say, do you know what, let's let's try and do something about this, because people are really comfortable, you know, wallowing their, in their own self-pity and staying. People become addicted to the darkness and addicted to their story and addicted to their drama. But when you detach yourself from those things and you are no longer attached to your own drama or other people's drama, Sometimes they don't like that and they will distance themselves. And this is why I always prepare people for the dead wood in their life to float down the river organically. So as soon as you become aware of who the dead wood people are in your life, and as soon as you get your boundaries really tight and say, do you know what, I, I really, I can't facilitate that person anymore with the crazy. No, you're not going to say that you don't want them in your life. You're just going to change your attitude towards how you deal with them going forward. As soon as that happens, one or two things. They're either going to be drawn towards who you've become and want to better themselves as well, or they're going to say, she's not feeding my ego anymore. I'm out of here. So just prepare yourself, guys, for the dead wood in your life to float down the river away from you organically as soon as you start, you know, swimming with the current rather than against it. So as soon as you're going with the flow, the proper flow of your life, the dead world will be gone. So I really, not that I hope that this video is gonna be useful to people, I know that it is. So please um, put your comments underneath if you have a situation like going through this at the moment or a situation that has happened to you in the past. And don't forget to like and share. Slam. see you all again tomorrow.